Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of using the validated workflow with Connect software to order sleep apnea devices. This video will give you an overview of the entire process, from entering a case in the Connect software, to scanning and transmission via the Connect portal, to ordering a custom fit sleep apnea device from Pantera Dental. Let's start with the prerequisites for this process. With Connect Software version 5 and higher, in combination with a Prime Scan, a validated workflow is offered in which intraoral scan data can be used for ordering a sleep apnea device. This presumes you have a customer account with Pantera Dental, as well as in the Connect Case Center. Additionally, a protrusive bite registration must be taken prior to the intraoral buckle scan. It must be in place before the scan. We recommend a registration with the so-called George Gage Bite Fork. More information about this is provided later. Go to the website PanteraDental.com and click Register. After entering all the information required to create a customer account, register as a user free of charge in our Connect Case Center at CustomerConnectCaseCenter.com. In case you already have a customer account for one or both of these sites, the respective step or steps can be omitted. After logging in to your Connect Case Center, we ensure that Pantera Dental is selected as a favorite recipient. Subsequently, you will see a short video about this procedure. As mentioned earlier, you will need a protrusive bite registration to perform the intraoral scan procedure correctly. In our case, we use the so-called George Gage. There are different versions of the bite fork. In most cases, dentists rely on the narrow gray bite fork marked with two. Additionally, there are white bite forks, which are a better choice for patients with a pronounced speed curve. We now begin in the Connect software where we have already created our patient case. When setting up the patient, keep in mind that the patient's first and last names, the patient ID, and the full name of the treating dentist must be entered and must be identical in the Pantera Dental order form to ensure correct assignment of the case. Next, we click the indication Jaw Scan, enable the Impression option, and move on to the Acquisition phase. During this phase, a total of three scans are performed. Both the lower jaw and upper jaw are full arch scans. A scan of the palate is not needed. However, the following points need to be observed. Make sure that the tooth structure, both in the upper and lower jaw, has been scanned completely. The scan should include at least three millimeters of gingiva below the gum line. Distally, the most posterior tooth of each quadrant should be fully captured in the scan. A bite registration is needed for the scan of the buccal image catalog. For this patient case, we use the George Gage bite fork. Alternatively, the registration can be performed with only bite registration material. The patient bites in a protrusion position on the material applied to the bite fork. The bite block height should be at least 4 millimeters in the molar range. Then, with the help of the bite fork, the buccal image catalog scan is performed. Next, we will show you an ideal intraoral scan of the buccal image catalog. At this point, we want to express our special thanks to Dr. Bernhild Stamnitz from Langen for providing us with her patient case. Once all scans have been completed, we go to the model phase. This phase merely serves to review the scan data one more time. In our example, we click the small right arrow to get to the last phase, the connect phase. Please make sure you are connected to the internet, since you will now be automatically connected with your Connect Case Center customer account. Enter your username and password and click Log In. The case data have already been uploaded successfully 
and we go to the next step. Enter order data. All fields marked with an orange asterisk must be completed before the data can be transmitted. Make sure that Pantera Dental has been selected as the recipient. Next, you can either place the order in the cart and submit it at a later time, or you can click the last step, Submit Cart, right away. Re-enter your password and click Commission. This ensures seamless and secure data transmission to Pantera Dental. Next, we go to the Pantera Dental website and log in with our user credentials. We click the New Order option, select the DSAD device from the Sleep category. As previously mentioned, at this point you must enter the same patient information, as well as the full name of the treating dentist, to ensure correct allocation of the scan data. We can now move on to the next step. Mark all missing teeth or those that include a restoration and those that serve as pontics or are fragile, both in the upper and lower jaw, since this information is needed for the design and for creating the retention surfaces. If needed, you can add which case the respective marked position refers to using the field under Comments at the bottom of the screen. In our example, we mark each first premolar in the upper jaw and comment these as fragile teeth. Then we move to the next step. In this step, we need to perform a number of tasks, and we will lead you through them one at a time. First, Start by determining if your reference bite will be taken at the patient's maximum protrusion, option 1, or in a predetermined starting position, options 2 and 3. With option 1, the DSAD will be set at the maximum protrusion capacity of the patient, minus 4 millimeters. With option 2, the DSAD will be set to the protrusion position selected by the dentist. Option 3 is similar to option 2, but allows for moving back 1 mm from the bite provided. Please note that shorter rods need to be used to increase protrusion. To decrease protrusion, longer rods need to be used. A switch between rods takes place in 0.5 mm steps and is recommended after 1 to 2 weeks of wearing the DSAD. For our example, we select the third option and scroll down slightly. Under item 2, you determine whether Pantera Dental may close or open the vertical spacing to optimize the device. If you prefer to discuss this first, you can request a call. We will approve any necessary optimization and go on to sub-item 3. Here we have some very important information. Please review whether the mandibular protrusion is straight or not. If any discrepancies are detected, select the option No. In our case, we confirm with Yes. Next, you decide whether with insufficient retention force of the device, composite buttons may be applied, whether you prefer to be called back before this may be done, or whether you want to cancel the case. We consent to the attachment of composite buttons should they be needed, which takes us to the last item on this page. Enable the first option if the device should be provided with elastics. These elastics ensure that the lower jaw won't drop during sleep, which supports breathing through the nose instead of breathing through the mouth. By enabling the second item, you determine that the upper splint should completely cover the most posterior molar. Finally, you include whether the splint should cover any present third molars or not. Then we move to the next step. Here you decide on the contact surface type between the maxilla and mandibular splints. To take a closer look at both options, we click Customized. Enabling the option Use Optimal Values allows the Pantera Dental team to select the best options for the patient's dentition. Experience shows that in the majority of cases, a lateral contact surface is designed for the upper jaw 
and a full surface for the lower one. By enabling Customized, you choose between the different contact surfaces for both the upper and lower jaw. The situation is similar with the next selection, which concerns the band of the upper jaw quadrants and the lower jaw quadrants. Click Customized to see an overview of the different options. Here you define the band design between the upper jaw quadrants and correspondingly between the lower jaw quadrants. The term Use Optimal Values means that the Pontera Dental Team will select the best options for the patient's dentition. Experience shows that in the majority of cases, the upper incisors will be covered on the buccal side. For the lower jaw, the front teeth will be covered lingually and, additionally, halfway on the buccal side. Alternatively, you can click Customized and select a patient-specific version. After making our selection, we get to the last item of this step, in which you tell Pontera Dental whether any necessary adjustments may be made to your selection without calling you back, or whether you want to be consulted beforehand. Then we move on to the next step and decide how the scan data will be transmitted to Pontera Dental. In the case of intraoral scan data that were obtained with the Connect software, click Intraoral Scanner Inbox and go to the next step. Here you can review all case details one more time. Click the pencil icon to edit the information or leave additional comments. Then confirm the order. In the last step, you can download the prescription and the commercial invoice. Next, we open both documents. The prescription provides another review of your order details. Since this is a demo case, the commercial invoice includes no further details. Thank you very much for your attention. We wish you all success when working with the Connect software.